Well, this series looks like it most likely converges because on the top, we basically only have an n squared, which is not that powerful. On the bottom, there's a five to the n, which is very powerful. So these should be very small fractions, and I think it's gonna converge. And as a treat to myself, I'm gonna use the ratio test. Treat because that's my favorite. So we take the limit as n goes to infinity, substitute n plus one into the function. So replace each of the n's with an n plus one, and then divide by the original function. Well, since we're dividing by a fraction, you can save a step by saying that means if you're dividing by a fraction, you invert and multiply. And then it's time to either do algebra or L'Hopital's rule. I think first algebra. And for that, I'm gonna get a red pen. So the five to the n can cancel the five to the n, but that's still gonna leave five to the one or five on the bottom. And that's about the extent of the algebra. So put away the red pen. So the limit as n goes to infinity. Then on the top, I think I'll go ahead and multiply this out. So that's going to be n squared. The middle term will be 2n, and then it'll be plus a 1. It also has this plus 5, so combining the 1 with the 5 makes a 6. And on the bottom, we have this 5 that's been multiplied with n squared plus 5. So that would be 5n squared plus 25. And then the limit as n goes to infinity. So on top there's infinity, on bottom there's infinity. So you could use L'Hopital's rule. Such a time saver, good old L'Hopital. So on the top, the derivative is 2n plus 2. On the bottom, it's 10n plus 0, or just 10n. And this would still be infinity over infinity, so use L'Hopital's rule one more time. And then this is going to be the derivative on the top is 2, the derivative on the bottom is 10. That equals a 1 fifth, and the ratio test says if you get something that's less than 1, it converges. Therefore, it converges. Oh, happy day.